Hi, I'm Ray Mitchell. Two years ago, I asked the voters of Fall River for their support in my quest to be elected to the Fall River City Council. The support given me was gratifying and humbling. The issues that we spoke about then were economic development, public safety, and education. Those who have kept abreast of the City Council meetings know that I have stayed true to my promises. I have been in the forefront on public safety issues. I co-sponsored an, is an initiative to establish a most wanted list. After speaking with the police chief and the four of the Herald News, the Herald News published pictures of the 10 most wanted individuals in our city. Once this was established in the newspapers, these individuals were subsequently apprehended. I also was instrumental in establishing a program to increase fines for illegal dumping. Those fines were increased from $100 to $300, with two-thirds of the fine going to the police department so that we could put more police officers on the streets. Another program that I sponsored was for salespeople who sell their wares door to door. A requirement was established for them to apply to the police department for a license. If approved by a background check, which includes a quarry check, they were issued a badge that must be worn when they sell their wares door to door. This was done so that the four of rights can feel comfortable when a salesperson comes to their door and to make it uncomfortable for scam artists. Another major concern for me has been our industrial park. It came to my attention that a company was contemplating moving out of Fall River because for six years they had been trying to get fiber optic capability at their site. To be honest, I was shocked and disappointed to find out that in 2011, our park did not have that capability. I asked the company to give me time to address this issue, and I, along with a colleague, worked to get this issue re resolved. Through our initiative, we were able to prevent the departure of that company from our industrial park. That company now has fiber optic comp capabilities, and we are currently working on making fiber optics available to all sites in our industrial park. Without fiber optic and broadband capabilities, it would be almost impossible to get companies to move into Fall River's industrial park. I have been a proponent of making an appropriate zoning for our waterfront. If we in Fall River are going to develop and revitalize the waterfront, we must have the proper zoning so that we can attract developers. I am proud to say that we have passed an ordinance in Fall River that makes sense for the revitalization of our waterfront. As many of you know, I have been a longtime advocate for the Fall River. I have served in various cap capacities in our cities, and I am proud of many initiatives that I have been involved in. I served on the school committee and the Diamond School Committee, and I have always been a strong supporter of education, and I will continue to be. I have always also supported and will continue, continue to support state-mandated minimum school spending. In 2002, I was not only honored, but also surprised to be named Vocational School Committee Man of the Year for my services on the Diamond School Committee. In 2003, I was awarded a Lifetime Achievement Award by the Massachusetts Association of School Committees. Ladies and gentlemen, Forever has been my home since birth, and I will always respect and honor my time in service of my community. So again, I ask for your support to return me to the City Council. Being retired, I have the time, and more importantly, the desire to be a full-time City Councilor. Thank you.